Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a camera comparison between two Xiaomi phones the Redmi Note 10 Pro against the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G Any. So let's get started. Here we have the two devices and I will blend in the specs of the Redmi Note 10 Pro on the left and the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G and E on the right. They're pretty similar in terms of ultra wide angle but the main camera sense is a different one and uh, yeah the Redmi Note 10 Pro has one more sensor which is a depth sensor that can help in terms of bokeh. We start out with the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 10 Pro that can go up to 1080p 30 frames per second and it has image stabilization here so it might be relatively good for vlogging as long as you don't have to show something like holding in your hand because there's no autofocus at all. This is now the front-facing camera 20 megapixels on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G and E and this one I have to hold it a little bit higher but I think the field of view is roughly the same I have to hold it a bit higher because the camera is off-center of, uh, on the screen it is on the top left corner so I have to hold it a little bit higher and this is 1080p 30 frames per second where you get image stabilization in my camera review I was testing 1080p 60 frames per second and there you don't have image stabilization so keep that in mind if you want to have image stabilization on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G and E you have to keep it to 1080p 30 and not 60 frames per second in terms of autofocus there no autofocus I think the view field of view is roughly the same uh, colors tell me in the comment section and stabilization and so on uh, write it down in the comment section so this is now the Redmi Note 10 Pro device 1080p 60 frames per second and the main camera of course what you can see directly is a wider field of view because this one has simply a different lens and this is a wider lens and of course you also see a bit more background blur blur because this is a larger sensor 1 over 1.5 inch size sensor instead of the almost 1 over 2 inch size sensor on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. What about autofocusing? I think autofocusing should work fine as well because of this wider field of view you probably also get a little bit more closer focusing distance as well and can get two objects a little bit closer. Uh, what about stabilization at 1080p 60 frames per second I think it's working quite nice and it also has or offers 4k 30 frames per second and also can stabilize 4k 30 frames per second which is I think pretty awesome the same with the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE so what do you think about the stabilization colors and so on so now the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE 1080p 60 frames per second and this one has a nice background blur, has a sharp face, has auto focusing and it also has good stabilization at 1080p 60 frames per second. It can go up to 4K 30 frames per second but I want to show you 1080p 60 frames per second because this is probably what most people will use because 4K usually is not used so much uh, at least is what I see. Um, uh, it's also my use case most of the time so I'm testing most of the cameras on the back at uh, 1080p 60 frames per second or so if they can do 4k 60 then 4k 60 as well otherwise 1080p 60 frames per second uh, the angle of view is a little bit closer up so I have to stretch out my arm a little bit but I think the stabilization is good the colors are also good and now the ultra wide angle on the Redmi Note 10 Pro device and this is how ultra wide it is I think it's 120 degree roughly maybe 119 degrees and uh, this is the stabilization this is the best quality you can get 1080p 30 frames per second so it's a bit of a downgrade and I really would love to see 30 frames uh, gone here and 60 frames um, added up here uh, which would make everything a lot more fluid and this would be the perfect vlogging system for a very cheap budget now we have the ultra wide angle on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE this one roughly has the same field of view and also the same image sensor probably uh, but maybe the colors are a bit different uh, also 1080p 30 frames per second the maximum that you can record on this device uh, in ultra wide angle and uh, yeah I think this one is also good for vlogging but it would be awesome if it would have autofocus and could do 1080p 60 frames per second 
So what do you think about stabilization? Is it better than on the Redmi Note 10 Pro? Write it down in the comment section. Oh, and now what we want to check out is the photo quality of the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE versus the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So let's take a look. Here are the photos, on the left the 11 Lite 5G NE and on the right the Redmi Note 10 Pro. What we can see on first glance is that we have a darker exposure on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and in theory also on all photos a warmer color tone to it. So for some reason the Redmi Note 10 Pro uh, exposes or has a white balance that is quite warmer than on the 11 Lite 5G. When it comes to details here, when we take a look at the A key, you can see slightly bit more details on the 11 Lite 5G NE, but this has also something to do with the pixel binning that is happening here, because the 108 megapixel is pixel binned to 12 megapixels on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is why you can see at the top here exactly 12 megapixels. And here we have 16 megapixels that we can get out of the 64 megapixel uh, main sensor of the 11 light 5G and E. So in general you can see you have more croppability possibilities by default when shooting JPEG and you get a little bit more resolution with the 11 light 5G and E. When it comes to colors we can see here also slightly uh, another difference not only more yellow but in this case you can see both in handling high dynamic range good i think colors are also okayish on both very similar but different as you can see here as well there's a bit more punch and a bit more yellowish color in the leaves here than on the 11 light 5g and e and I have to say the redmi note 10 pro did it a bit too yellowish here in this case it was not so uh, in reality, the 11 Lite 5G and E is much closer to reality. In terms of details, detail level, what can we say? Uh, maybe a slide edge on the 11 Lite 5G and E in this photo here, but we will see through all the other photos here if we can see a difference. These are all shot with the main camera. I will tell you, of course, when the ultra wide angle comes in play. So what you can see here on first glance, not much of a difference. When we zoom in, however, you can see differences in terms of resolution, of course, but also slightly a bit, I think, sharpness as well. That might be cause of the lens or the sensor. When we go, for example, here, we can see it is a bit clearer on the left than on the right. Also the sharpness here and look at the wood and its imperfections and here on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, it is smearing the details a little bit and we don't have this issue on the 11 Lite 5G and E. Next photo where we want to see how they handle colors in general. Very interesting here again. This was shot with the two times digital zoom or crop in zoom uh, that is used here. And what we can see here for some reason, the 11 Lite 5G thought okay it might be good to blow out the highlights here in the back you can see chromatic aberrations and yeah overblown highlights we don't have this so much on the redmi note 10 pro even though yeah it got the white wall here right and the details are there uh, chromatic aberrations are there as well uh, when it comes to colors color science we have more dramatic shot on the Redmi Note 10 Pro because it adds more contrast to the shot and on first glance you might think oh the Redmi Note 10 Pro looks a little bit better and also sharper but when we zoom in then you can see this is done by heavily putting sharpness filters on top and you don't have this on the 11 Lite 5G and E. 11 Lite 5G and E looks more natural than the Redmi Note 10 Pro. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has a nice algorithm that yeah, adds this contrasty look to it, which makes everything a little bit more yeah, defined, I would say, but it's a fake sharpness that you can see it clearly that the 11 Lite 5G and E has here the clear, uh, yeah, it's a clear winner with, this, with, its, uh, with its imperfections as well, but also with its more natural kind of look and feel, at least in my opinion. You can write what you think about those photos and of course I will um, put those photos also on a share for you to watch them in the original uh, JPEGs. So in terms of colors this is the ultra wide angle now to see do we see any difference in terms of colors. I think it's a bit cooler on the Redmi Note 10 Pro which is interesting because usually on the main lens it's more warmer 
and when we take a look at the detail level you can see also yeah it's a bit warmer a bit more yellowish punchy on the 11 light 5 gne and in terms of details what can we see here both apply sharpening but when we come to the edges you can see it's smearing on uh, the redmi note 10 pro and it's like um yeah not sharp and when we come to the edge of the 11 live gne it's a lot better so it's keeping the control and we can see it later on as well with uh, different shots the pro mode both feature pro mode and i managed to capture um, driving cars with the pro mode with a uh, higher shutter speed and you can see here it was focusing on the front of the car it worked quite nicely i get a nice effect of, of something going on here and here as well and i think um both can do a good shot but the 11 light 5g and e was reacting a little bit faster might be also due to the processor handling it a bit better but i like the 11 light 5g and e better because i could get the shot much easier when we take a look at colors again we can see that both are from the same family or from the same company um, greens look yeah, almost identical. There's a slight warmer, yellowish, more punchy color on the 11 Light 5G NE, I would say, and a bit more contrasty look and a bit more subtle look in the colors, not so punchy on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is interesting. Let me take a look at the signs here. The blues look identical to me. There's not much of a difference. When we take a look at the yellow here, the yellow is a bit more punchy again, a bit more bright on the 11 Light 5G NE. Um, dynamic range I think is good but you can see that here I think the Redmi uh, is a little bit in front where we have a bit of lone highlight here on the 11 Lite 5G and E. When we take a look at zoom shots or how is the clarity of the lens not only the sensor or, or lens and sensor combination uh, what always works nicely is uh, comparing texts so I have this text here that I can crop in and let's compare this and despite that the 11 light 5g ne creates a 16 megapixel photo where we have a 12 megapixel on the redmi note 10 pro uh, i think sharpness is and clarity is much better on the redmi note 10 pro on this one which is interesting and it's again a little bit unsharp um, on the 11 light 5g ne but this could be also because the 11 light 5g ne doesn't add contrast as much as the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Take a look at the background here and take a look at the windows, especially around the windows and the whole contour. You can see that it doesn't look so blown out here um, as on the 11 Lite 5G N and E, but um, yeah, it's adding contrast, which is creating some kind of like sharpness effect. It doesn't have more information here. Uh, simply but uh, it is just adding a little bit of contrast this helps also with the text but when we go now into a zoom shot so we have the two times uh, digital zoom or digital crop because they don't have dedicated zoom lenses what we can see on first glance it looks a bit unsharp on the left but when we zoom in then and zoom in on this poster for example it's a night and day difference the 11 light 5g ne is way better not only because it has more resolution to deal with here again it is uh, 16 megapixels instead of 12 but also because the lens is better and because the details are more visible here and uh, you can clearly see this uh, in this shot with the text and yeah this is clearly seen here with the digital zooming when we take a look at the ultra wide again i found it's very interesting that somehow the exposure is a bit or the white balance is a bit darker on the redmi note 10 pro and the exposure in this case and also the uh, in general also one thing that i noticed is that there the same uh, happening on the main sensor is also happening here there's a little bit of uh, contrast added to this and you can see here this helps on the redmi note 10 pro because this tree for example and the leaves there are a lot sharper or look a lot sharper on the redmi note 10 pro which i don't have on the 11 light 5g and e which is a bit weird because they both have a fixed focus but when i go to the sides here this car for example this white car and i compare it with the 11 light 5g and e if you take a closer look also the tree here it's a lot more unsharp on the redmi note 10 pro and the 11 light 5g and e has a sharper picture so even though if i'm not sure if they use the same sensor but even though if they use the same sensor the optics is better on the 11 light 5g and e which helps uh, here enormously and you can 
get this here as well first of all color difference a bit warmer again on the Redmi Note 10 Pro a bit uh, colder on the 11 Lite 5G and E but also you get way more details here both 8 megapixels but more details a little bit more of sharpening artificial sharpening I would say as well on the 11 Lite 5G and E but more details in general this might be also due to processing but also the lens I would say the lens is uh, one thing look at the windows here those little windows and compare it brighter exposure you don't have the smearing uh, unsharpness that the optics I think uh, are a limit, limit here for the Redmi Note 10 Pro so you have better optics on the 11 Lite 5G and E definitely and uh, in terms of colors otherwise not much of a difference a bit of brighter exposure on the left and a bit of more punchy and warmer green on the right that is basically everything that you can see here and uh, you can see it also here with this one that we have a bit more brighter red a bit more brighter yellow and a bit more contrasty look and uh, yeah a bit of more yeah yeah contrast added basically on the redmi note 10 pro and uh, in terms of details clearly i would say the 11 Lite 5g and e has the edge here but it's also a matter of taste in some cases where details or contrast you look can help in this case close-up shots you can get a little bit more closer with the redmi note 10 pro with the main camera and uh, get nice little shots here and details of this uh, leaf and a bit further away with the 11 Lite 5g and e and uh, yeah in this case i would say the redmi note 10 pro has an edge over the 11 light 5g and e when it comes to the macro cam here we have the macro cam there's not much of a difference but uh, color wise i think there is a difference as you can see here clearly the same scene and we have a little more white here instead of a pinkish color which is a bit of weird what the redmi note 10 pro did so a bit more a uh, bit less color reproduction on the redmi note 10 pros uh, macro cam and better color reproduction on the 11 light 5g and e i'm convinced it's the same sensor beneath it but you can see the sharpness and also the contrasty look again uh, helps the redmi note 10 pro to appeal a bit sharper both have auto focusing which is pretty nice and uh, yeah the colors look better on the 11 light 5g and e and the uh, sharpness looks better on the redmi note 10 pro when it comes to the macro cam and this is basically everything and we start all over again so what do you think about the photos write it down in the comment section which one is the winner the redmi note 10 pro or the xiaomi 11 lite 5g and e both i think have good camera systems but you have to keep in mind that they have they have a different price tag as well and this price tag might be very interesting for some people uh, when it comes to the redmi note 10 pro because you get this very large sensor with this great bokeh and with the Mi 11 Lite or the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G and E, I was Xiaomi, you have to uh, apologize, and Xiaomi fans, you have to apologize because it will take a while for me to adapt to this new naming scheme. Anyway, so which one of those Xiaomi devices would you recommend in terms of photography, and which one has the better overall? Uh, kind of photo and video quality write it down in the comment section this is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye from windy cologne